states with more permissive gun laws and greater gun ownership have higher rates of mass shootings, the researchers conclude. There is a growing divergence in recent years as rates of mass shootings in restrictive states have decreased and those in permissive states have increased. But as DeLauro said on Wednesday, Dickey who died in 2017 came to regret the role he had in keeping social scientists and legislators from understanding the causes of gun violence. J. Dickey came to believe that research can make a difference, she said. Certainly, this Congress must as well. That sentiment was echoed by most of the witnesses who testified before the subcommittee. We know too little about gun violence and its prevention, said Andrew Morrell, a senior behavioral scientist at the Rand Corporation. He said that there was nothing like the quality and depth that led to the link between cigarettes and cancer. It is, of course, in the interest of groups like the National Rifle Association that no such link is ever established. The NRA did not respond to a News Pulse News request for comment about research into the public health ramifications of gun ownership, which the powerful advocacy organization has opposed. Morale argued that it is impossible to make gun policy without first ascertaining facts about whether certain measures he used the example of gun-free zones are effective. But these statistics, he lamented, mostly don't exist. Of the witnesses, the lone dissenter was John Lott, a controversial researcher whose book More Guns, Less Crime has made him a popular speaker for defenders of expanded Second Amendment rights. Lott argued that the Dickey Amendment did not decrease the amount of research into gun violence. And he seemed to downplay the role of federally funded research in understanding the role of guns in American public health. It's important that we don't waste valuable resources on studies that don't add anything to our knowledge, he said. More funding for the Center for Disease Control and Prevention will not, by itself, solve our systemic problems. Our response must be broader and more inclusive, Cole said. To that end, he stressed the importance of mental health funding. Supporters of gun rights often argue that psychiatric maladies, not guns, are at fault for gun violence. Statistics, however, indicate that the only factor that correlates with America's extraordinary incidence of mass shootings is the rate of gun ownership. Other countries with similar rates of mental illness have many fewer mass shooting events. Despite the fact that 2,444 Americans have already been killed by guns in 2019, gun violence remains, as DeLauro noted, less researched than any other cause of death. And it is the least funded, too with one exception, falls.